Hello guys, welcome to this Corel Draw for beginners video tutorial. I previously created a Corel Draw X3 tutorial for those designing prior experience with Corel Draw because I think it's better and easier to start with another version of a program so we don't get lost. But if you're starting off with Corel Draw 2020, you have nothing to worry about. I'll make this video very detailed. And if you're new here, my name is Faith Abby and I do a lot of Corel Draw tutorials as well as other programs. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. When you open Corel Draw 2020 program, this is what shows up. Over here is where you create a new document by clicking on it. And this box appears where you can adjust your document settings like the orientation and page size. But I'm going to just leave the default settings. I can do all that later on and then click OK. So this is what the interface looks like. Up here we have the menu bar the file layout effects you know and here we have the toolbar here we have the property bar the exchanges to display the most common functions specific to the active tool and here we have the toolbox where we have all the tools for drawing and editing images now here is the document navigator where you can create a new page by clicking on this plus sign here and also you can jump to any page you want over here we have the navigator. This button helps you move around your drawing. Now back to the toolbox. In the toolbox we have the pick tool. Use the select, resize or skew item. And the second one, the shape tool for editing a curve object or text character by manipulating the nodes. And we're going to see how that's done later on in this video. And we have the crop tool for removing the areas aside a selection and the zoom tool for zooming in and out. Next we have the freehand tool for to draw curves and straight lines. Just click on it and move over to your workspace. Click and drag to whatever shape you desire. Under the freehand tool we have the two point line tool for drawing straight lines. After clicking on the two point line tool, go to your workspace and click and drag. Release it when done. Next, we have the artistic media for artistic brush, spray, and calligraphic effects. So, you click on it, move to your workspace, and click and drag. And this is it. Up here, you can choose a stroke for drawing lines and curves. Also, we have the rectangle tool for drawing squares and rectangles. Just click on it, move to your workspace, and click and drag to your desired size. Over here, the color palette, you can apply color to it by clicking on the color you want. Also, we have the ellipse tool for drawing circles. Click on the tool and click and drag on your workspace to your desired size. And you can apply color to it. The polygon tool is for drawing polygons. Click and drag on your workspace also and release when you're done. Now going back to the pick tool we said for selecting and resizing items, you click on the pick tool and select an object, you click on the object. To move an object, click on it and drag to your desired position. To resize an object, click on any one of these corner selection handles and drag to your desired size. You can use the middle handle also. So that's how you resize an object using the pick tool. Also, you can click on the object twice to display the rotation and skew handles. To rotate, drag this rotation handle. Hold down the control key while dragging it to rotate the object by 15 degrees increment. Let me show you the difference. Holding down the control key while dragging it, let me say put it under control because it gives the exact or accurate position while rotating it without the control key might not. You can scale the object by clicking and dragging on this middle handle. Now 
and shape tool we said for editing a curve object by manipulating the nodes so you click on shape tool and go over to your object and click on any of the nodes you click and drag to edit it and it gives a star shape also you can manipulate these nodes too to give these curved edges so basically the shape tool is for editing the shape of an object by manipulating nodes or segments. You do that by clicking on the node or double clicking on the segment and then drag it to however you want it. Any part between two nodes is called a segment. It can either be a line or a curve segment. So to convert this curve segment to line, you right click on it and select line. Always go back to the pick tool when you're done using other tools. Choose the zoom tool, click on it and select the part you want to magnify. To select, click on any empty space and drag to cover the areas you want selected. And to zoom out, hit F3 or F4 on your keyboard or you can click up here in your property bar. Next is the text tool that allows you to add text. You click on it, move to your workspace, click and start typing. Remember, you can resize by clicking and dragging on these handles. You drag the side handles when resizing and not the middle handles, except when necessary. Up here in your property bar, you can edit your text by like changing the font and size. You can choose the font you want here and resize it over here. You click on any empty space to click an object. And when you click on any object, in the property bar you can see options that helps you edit them. And then you can use the shape tool to adjust it. Also you can find options like making the outline dotted. Next we have the drop shadow tool for dropping shadows. You click on the tool, then click and drag on the object to apply shadow effects. And in your property bar, you can adjust it the way you want it, like making it lighter or darker or changing the color. To use the transparency tool, click on it and then click and drag on the object you want to make transparent. And in the property bar, you can make changes, like making it uniform transparency. Right now, this is fountain transparency. You can drag the handles in to make the edge faded. And this right here is uniform transparency. Here you can make it more opaque or more transparent. We have the interactive field tool for adding colors or mixing colors. And the eyedropper tool, which can sample colors from anywhere. Under the interactive field, so we have the fountain field for applying two colors, also two color pattern field and others. And this right here brings up a box for more options, where you can change the color and choose the style you want. So I'm going to select fountain field. To change the color, I'll click on this handle, and here I can pick the color I want. And click OK to apply it. So that's how we use fountain field on the interactive field tool. So guys, we're done with color draw tools. Here you can click on this plus sign to add any tool that's not here. So I'm going to add outline pen by clicking on it and clicking outside. So here it is. The outline pen is for adding outlines and editing outlines. So you click on the object, go to your outline pen and you can choose the thickness you want. For text also, but for it to be unique, you have to make some adjustments, which we'll look at in our next video. You can also change the color on the outline colors.
and you can choose no outline. So going over to the menu bar, we have file. In our file, we have save for saving your document. To save, you click on save and the save as box appears. On the file name, type in the title and then click on save. On the file also, we have open to open up a new document. And also import, export and many others, which you can check out yourself. Under edits, we have copy, paste, cut. To cut, select the object you want to cut, then go to edit and click cut. And to paste the back, you click on paste, which you can do all that using shortcuts. And here we have duplicate to duplicate an object. Also, we have the view menu and the layout menu for editing your page layout. This go to page helps you jump to any page you want. You click on it and put in the page number. We have just two pages here, so I'm going to type in two and here is our empty page two. Next, we have object menu, effects menu for adding effects, bitmaps, text for editing your text. All this you get to know as time goes on. So I'm going to select everything here and delete it. To select everything, click outside and drag so that the box covers everything. After everything is in the box, release it and hit delete on your keyboard. So that's it guys. The next thing we're going to be doing in this video is importing pictures. To import pictures, you can click on import here. Look for the file and then click on import. Using the shape tool, we are going to trim this part out. Click and drag to highlight this edge. And then click on it and drag it downwards. Or we can just undo that and use the crop tool instead to crop out the part we want. Select the parts you want and click crop here. And that's the use of the crop tool. So I'm going to stop here guys. My next video is going to be on designing a flyer. So I'm going to have it linked in the description. You can also check out my other videos on Corel Draw. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.